Sir. I, I won't. Oh, some peace and quiet. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank oh, God. Honestly. It's usually Half not. Less. It's usually not that bad, to be fair. <laughs> At that time, it was. I don't know. Everyone's very heated. <laughs> you enable your uh, stream. Oh yeah. Sorry. It's alright. Toby, to Toby said, uh, "Press enter." No. <laughs> I'll ruin the stream for everyone. Then you have no idea what heroes like could be picked, and it ruined the drafting experience. See, so oh yeah, so bottom right it says chat. You just click on it. And okay. If there is. I think last time I wanted to chat and I pressed enter, <laughs> then I never oh. wanted to press it again. Press enter, do it. Maybe I should. Press Wait, what enter if I want to send a that. message? When you send a message, you press you enter, right? Use, no, no, I'll just do slash all just to be safe. Maybe. But then how do, we, how do I send the message? You, you press enter. No, nice. you just told me not to press enter. Yeah, no. You can't you now tell me to press enter. You, you know, yeah, now you can Karen, this is very confusing. Time. You just told me not to press enter. No, you don't press enter if you're not chatting. All right, fine. There we go. There. <laughs> so if I always have the chat window open, am I safe to press enter? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, there we go. I'll just keep it open. Look at what was first banned. Is it a surprise? Well, second no, banned, technically. Not a, not a surprise. Not a surprise. They're just like, get I'm... rid of the cause. And the Conquer ban as well. I think it makes sense they're just going to ban as many cores as they possibly can. <laughs> Dark Willow for Ollie mid, because they know I want to see it. Fair enough. There is techies in the pool. If you, you know, you didn't need to be at work tomorrow. Radiant team pick. Me? Or anyone. If you have a techies game, you know, it's already nearly 10 o'clock. So, is it not quite late for you anyway, Karen? Yeah, but I ignore the time. I'm not actually that tired. I ignore the time. That's that's good advice for anyone out there. Just ignore the time. Who needs just, time? Just, just pretend that, that it's not nearly 10 o'clock. Okay, so maybe another Keeper of Light game for Drekken. I want to see the techies. Come on, pick the techies. It's always fun. <laughs> we had that horrible game against techies today. Oh my god, the pub game. Oh, uh, don't, please. What game? What game, Jerome? What game? Yeah, 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 what game? Yeah. <laughs> didn't happen, didn't happen. I've forgotten about it already. I got my good hero damage, though, that's nice. I never beat that record. Yeah. It was 200k or something. 3,000 damage a minute. I didn't beat my feeding record, though. I don't think so. Mine's never been more than 20, so I think... I'm hoping I never surpass that. I think if you ever surpass that, then something is seriously wrong with the game. Yeah, I don't usually play because heroes you who die a, a lot. Player. Yeah. Also, cores don't die as much as supports because you don't sacrifice your lives. For the cores. Always for the cores. Come on, just pick techies. Well, if they pick techies, it's both Brex and Huggy that plays them, and they're both on Radiant. So it's so, like yeah. who's going to play the techies? Oh. Legion or Legion? Okay, is that Ollie Legion? It's quite or early. Was it Bay? Or was it Bay? Yeah, Bay's good Legion. Um, he used to play a lot of Legion, but you know, Ollie's played his fair share as well. It's quite early to pick Legion, but she's fairly flexible. You can run her in the off lane. You could run her as a pos one. Ollie's done that before. You could run her mid. Uh, it's good lockdown. You can't really go wrong with Legion. Her skill set's nice. So yeah, why not? Why not pick a core early? It allows you to pick a support who maybe wants to, you know, a counter picking support. Which I think is nice because support picks don't usually get to to be counter picks. You usually just oh, just pick a support, please. Yeah. So actually, I think it's nice if you can delay a support pick till later on. Win rangers in the pool. I always like seeing a win ranger and a storm. Storm spirit. Okay, so oh we know. Oh god, there's a brood. Yeah, but I apart from me, I don't think anyone is scumbag enough to play brood mother. So, <laughs> at least you admit it. Oh yeah, there it oh, is. No. It's on the other it's team. On the other, it's on the opposite team. Who the fuck? I bet that is either Jack S or Royds. I yeah. Even better and apologise. Um, Brex still it. Head's gone. Ten seconds remaining. Five. Techies, seconds. brood, wow. lichen. Yeah, lichen. I I don't think. The thing is, those heroes which are really scummy, not many people practice them a lot or play them a lot. Like, <laughs> <That's on> the <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> <team>. <laughs> 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 I 
Oh dear. They're trying to like get in each other's heads before the game's even started. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Radiant team pick. Storm. Early storm. Oh. Radiant team pick. Wow, look how that fast that return pick was. Uh, wow, uh, these picks are coming out instantly. Nyx and Wind Ranger. It's like they knew Storm was coming, so they immediately responded with some of the you know strong CC that picks. It's the Ross. That is a Ross Storm spirit for sure. To think, pick Storm definitely. this early is always quite risky. I like Storm when there's only one or two stuns, so you don't have to be dodging everywhere. You're picking Storm spirit into Legion Commander, Wind Ranger, and Nyx Assassin now. So. You know, he's he's going to have a hard time. He's going to have to get BKB very early on. And even then, he could always be surprised stunned by the Nyx or, or the Wind Ranger. And if he gets jeweled, he's gone. So I think it's a hard, hard Storm game. He's going to need another core who can divert a lot of attention away from him. Like maybe a Spectre. Yeah. So you can't just spend everything on the Storm because then how are you going to kill the Spectre? That, that sort of lineup. Yeah, maybe even a Lycan. I guess Lycan doesn't want to be locked down by Legion Commander, that's always a pain. But the rest of the team he's alright against. Team pick. Oh, okay. Yeah, straightforward support. This game's going to be enjoyable to watch. They've got Ogre Techies and, and Jakiro. Can we just talk about where which one is the pos 3? 10 seconds remaining. Radiant uh. team pick. Lycan. They do go Lycan. They're little bastards. <laughs> Chaos Knight. We've seen a lot of Bay Chaos Knight. Is that a bay? They just said... Um, they Ollie, Ollie Lincoln. They, oh, oh, no, it's Ollie Nix. We don't okay. see Ollie Nix and a Brexwind Ranger, so Legion's going to be... Huggy, is it Huggy Legion? It's got to be Huggy or Drekken Legion. That's exciting. They must be discussing it right now. Oh. And, they're, and they're both like... They're like, guys, I mean, what have we done? <laughs> I like that we've picked, yeah, go for it. Pick Lycan. Jack S. Play to win. Lycan. Oh, it's veteran on techies. Oh, Drekken Legion. Okay. Yeah, this tire team, I, they've got techies, but they've got Lycan. So they've got push, but they've also got turtle at the same time. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Yeah, are we trying to go late or finish early? I can't remember. But techie's actually pretty good if you're ahead because his mines do 200 damage to the tower. So that's a big chunk of the tower HP gone straight away. And he's quite good at, you know, if you set up stuff when you're aggressive, you know, you set up the mines maybe in the enemy jungle, then as soon as they push out, they're dead. And if they're, if you're behind, you don't want to buy a gem, and you really can't, you know, you can't afford to lose it at that point. Yeah, Dyer have no team fight, they've just got push. wonder if that was their strat then. I still don't know who their pos three is. Team five. Oh, that's pretty good. In the last twenty matches. Who? But who is their pos five? Uh, pos three, rather. I, I still don't understand. Is it Techies? Techies pos three. I, I, I would say it was it's the Techies. Although Olga does have a quelling blade, so maybe. Oh, it's Olga. It's Olga. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I, I used to like pos three Olga. I like the idea behind yeah, it. Yeah, like... it, it used to be quite often picked. Easy breezy, breezy. I think until something maybe something happened with the Midas. I can't remember why people stopped using it doing it even oh now i've got tons of fps jack plays the most why do we invite him jack plays the most disgusting heroes <laughs> well i like him yeah but he also plays like lone druid and all that all oh yeah world. lone druid he's gone for a headdress and one shared tango so he is mid like him Mid Lycan is, is tough, like you've got the wolves out, the wolves do 52 damage if you attack at the same time with them, and you've got 52 30 damage 30 as well, so that's 104 damage plus Quelling Blade. So hard to last it against Lycan, and the wolves aren't even that squishy anymore, so you can't just insta-kill them. Yeah, ew Lycan, I agree. Uh, you're not in this game, are you? You're lucky, Rich. <laughs> you've dodged the yeah. Lycan, you've dodged the Lycan techies game. Easy dodge. Oh, yeah, there's the Karen cam. Oh, she's got another weird weather effect on off terrain. Oh, no. Top plane's just going to be a free take. Underwater. Oh, it's underwater, is it? Okay. You can be underwater yeah. on one part of the screen then, guys. <laughs> you can see fish floating about every so often. That's horrible. <laughs> Isn't that really distracting? Jellyfish as well. Yeah. Oh, it, to be um, honest, it does no, look really cool. 
get used to it. Yeah, I've used the default one the entire time. Where do you get these effects from? Do you do you just buy them Battle on the store? Pass. Battle so, pass. Is it too late for me then? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, actually, wait. Can you buy them? I don't know actually. Or are they tradable? Maybe both. I like the safe lane storm spirit. It's an interesting choice. We've got the brothers in top lane. The Rossroids lane. Ah, uh, the more. The more mayhem. Why do we have a Nyx Assassin mid? Oh, that is not, not gonna do well against Lycan. Lycan is gonna farm so much. Okay, Roids is behind them. Is he gonna come on, use the dual breath. Go on, go on. Why not <laughs> use it on both? Oh well, he's doing damage to Brex. He's used all of his mana. Trying to send a, a Basilius. Yeah, just quite defensive in top lane. And bottom. I can't see any early kills happening. There's no kills going to happen mid. It's Lycan versus Nyx Assassin. <laughs> Which is going to be a zero kill lane. Hit it, you. <laughs> this faking in mid. Yes, one deny. <laughs> okay, Ollie just gets it with the stun. Well done, Ollie. <laughs> It's a good question, Rich. Where do we look for? Rich isn't in the game, so where's first blood gonna happen? Maybe there just never will be first blood. There'll just be no kills the whole game because there's no Rich. <laughs> there just never yeah. be a first blood. You don't even have a Rich cam either. Yeah, it's I sad. can't say poor Rich this game. Rich, you bring so much value to our streams. What are we gonna do oh, without you? Oh, is it a kill on Super Noodles? Bottom. Oh, they knock him back. Wow, big no, damage not. coming out from the blast off. Okay, no. False alarm. Very false alarm, close. boys. Yeah, yeah, Techie's Ogre is an interesting lane combo. <laughs> I mean, Ogre has... He bought six Tangos with him. He's on 14 health regen with a Tango up. So he's just going to regen it all. Let's have a look. Mid lane, nothing's happening because, you know, it's it's like in Nyx. Nyx went for instant bottle. He didn't even wait for his um, Wraith Band. Which is, this is fair enough. Top lane, anything exciting? Not really. Both heroes continue to farm. Huzzah! That taunt effect first made me think he had a clarity on him. Like, I don't like those weird rings that come around him. On who? Storm Spirit. Sorry. Oh, right. I should have said that. <laughs> no context, otherwise, you're looking somewhere else. Yeah, I'm looking bottom. <laughs> How often can you spam the taunts? It must be a cooldown, right? Yeah, I think it's about uh, like 10 seconds or something. It's a nice pull by Roids, allowing him to get some jungle farm. Storm Spirit's gone AFK. No, he's not. <laughs> he's just waiting patiently for the pull. Oh, kill on techies. Oh, and there was a courier gone as well. Oh, yeah, so, so again, no, first blood averted. First he blood. might die to ignite. What? He's going to die to ignite. There's the first blood. Huggy Yay! actually dies to noodles because of the ignite. And techies managed to deny himself. It. Yes, we've done it for once, guys. First time ever. <laughs> Professional stream enabled. <laughs> Top lane. Royds is kind of stuck here. Oh, he finds the curate. He's going to get the curate. Chaos Knight. Oh, the sound. Oh. Looked like there was a kill bot potentially, but they seem to have gotten away yeah, low. Yeah, that was the salve he had to chaos i had to pop the salve just to survive so he's lost it but at least he's alive i'm not sure about building orb of venom on legion commander that seems like an odd item i think ross is going to get a solo kill on drekken yeah he is he's just going to go yeah i've actually got early rank of electric vortex and your low hp i'm going to kill you i mean maybe he could have got luckier with a few more moments of courage procs but that's a nice solo kill pretty much ross on ross action ross on drekken You say the curse has been broken. We'll miss it next game, don't worry. Uh, no. Bounty's coming up. Roy's being cheeky, stealing one. That's three for the Dire. He's got to watch out for his courier because it's running straight into the enemy base now. He'll be okay. Roy's has a bottle. Have you noticed that? That's interesting for a support to pick up so early. Bottle and a Basilius. Yeah. So he's going to get another bottle. Yeah, he got. that's all four bounties for the Dire. 
Ollie doing what he can, but he has no mana, so <laughs> he's reduced to nothing more than auto attacking Roids to death. Which is that going to result in a kill? He's almost got mana, and he actually he gets the kill purely on auto attacks. Finally, the stun comes out. The shackle as well is slightly overlapped, but you know a low level storm can't do anything. He's not got any any mobility. In fact, he's just going to run. He's got a bottle as well. How many bottles are in this game? I guess Lycan doesn't have one. You need a bottle counter. Looks like there was a kill bot as well. Yeah. They do find a pick off storm. He, um, obviously, veteran tried to um, blast off, but it didn't. It didn't actually kill him. So Chaos Knight just got the last hit and killed him. Super is level five. He is going for Midas. He's actually nearly got it. Look how much gold he's holding. How has he already got 1,800 gold? I'm amazed. Meanwhile, Lycan is confidently ahead in the last hits. And just pushing. Look, he's nearly taken the whole tower already. He has already got a Helm of the Dominator. And he gets the last hit on the tower even after the glyph. He needs to go find himself a creep. Yeah, the curse has temporarily has been temporarily avoided. Great regen for Lycan. He's happy. He's going to go into jungle, pick up a rune. Looks like bot lane has a big fight. And he doesn't oh, the kill the mine in time. The stun just oh, long enough to kill him. Hey. Oh, look at that TP in. The, that mine was a great place. Rex TP'd in, immediately lost half his HP. Veteran, he's very low and doesn't have blast off. He gets shackled, puts down a mine. Gonna kite back. If they don't kill the mine in time, okay, they do kill the mine in time. Place another mine, you've got a second charge. He's gonna try and place it on the high ground, I think. Gonna get hit by the power shot, just touches the power shot, but here comes Lycan. He's already got his third wolf, the, the alpha wolf. Just delete Tuggy from the game. Alpha Wolf plus two Lycan Wolves. He's going straight under the tower. Okay, gets pulled back, gets stunned. But the Wolves, they crit 130 each. Chaos Knight's now going to go down as well. Oh my God. I can't see any way for him to get out of this. Lycan still has more time on Metamorphosis. And then <laughs> Veteran comes in, denies himself, but gets the kill. Jack and TP's in as well from top lane. And just going to feed yet another kill. This is so much momentum for the Lycan player. He just saw three kills. Storm Spirit's now got a free lane top. And they killed both... The core, yeah, they killed the cores, both the cores basically. Chaos Knight and Legion. So, yeah. Lycan's a good hero, apparently. Having, having that early Alpha Wolf just gave him so much damage. What is it? 30% bonus damage. On top of how much, you know, you're already getting from Feral Impulse. That's two tier 1 towers gone, eight minutes into the game. We've already got a 5k net worth lead. This early on. I mean, that's, that's a huge lead. This quickly in the game. God, lead. I was going to say. Ollie's there. He had Vendetta, but they don't have enough damage. Lycan's quite tanky. 3.4 strength. He's going to have Necro Book soon. Okay, Ollie tanking a mine. Veteran trying to lure him into more mines. Doing a good job. Out comes the second mine. Look how much damage it did. It just picks up the kill. Fantastic play from Veteran, just luring Ollie through the mines. <laughs> Top lane. Dragon's not six yet. Oh, but Ross is. On an ogre as well. In place. And if I had to use the glyph, Radiance doesn't quite clear his alpha wolf though. Attack. He's gonna keep holding that. They're trying to go on Ross top, but you know, Ross is six. And he's still got a lot of mana. In fact, he thinks maybe I'll kill Drekken. Does he know Brex is here? Brex comes in. Shackle's only rank one. Rank one Shackle is two second duration. So decent, but not, not going to be a kill. He wind runs in. Gets the Shackle. It's only two seconds, though, and they still don't have Jewel. And Ross is just going to zip away. Dodges the overwhelming odds with his zip. There's one more zip. Doesn't have any mana, but he pops a mango. He's going to TP out. Out comes Lycan. And he is just going to delete Huggy. The blind, unfortunately, doesn't... Oh, he's tried to blind, maybe to cancel the TP. Jack running through, Huggy's going to go down, just to the walls pretty much. He's level 9, he's got his Necro Book, and I think he's going to push the last tier 1 tower. Blinding Light doesn't cancel TPs. I've experienced to try that. And, I don't, uh... don't think he knew that. Ollie going for the kill, almost dodges the Ice Path. Not quite, but he still gets the kill. Ollie opting for Dagon, first item. <laughs> oh, of course. Trying to play that bursty mix build. Doesn't he have an Agi talent? Oh, it's only 80 Agi now. I guess it's like an Apex. Top lane. Lycan's running around with his Necro Creeps as well as the Alpha Wolves. That's a lot of damage. Drekken's thinking, I can duel him, but I'm not going to win, am I? His pets are going to absolutely murder me. Bot lane. 
Looks like we found flat, uh, Flatulent Veteran. Does he have any... New he doesn't have any mines. He's just waiting for his health to go below half, and then he's going to blast off. Actually, he soul rings, blasts off. Does a lot of damage. And denies himself. So, good play from him. A little bit risky, but actually he did make it out, so well done. Well, he denied himself, but you know. Better than oh, feeding a kill. Yeah, Both teams holding a shovel, that's always always fun. Let's see which one gets luckier and gets bounty runes. Looks like they get Ooh. another pick off there. That's good for the Radiant, they need pick offs. Picked off Jakiro. He probably was going for some aggressive warding. Chaos Knight's only level 6. He's about to hit level 7, but there's a level 10 Lycan in the game. And level 9 Ogre, because Ogre's already got his Midas. He went for Arcane Boots, but yeah, he's just having fun with his yeah, multicasts. Yeah, but he also he also took the tome. Oh, did when, he? Yeah, when, you know, his poor Chikiro is only 5. Can you multicast the tome? No. Big zip away from Ross. He knows there's Ollie about. I'm sure you can't. That would be disgusting. Yeah, just multicast it and go up like four levels. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, imagine. That, is that would be such an OS frog. He's got Midas up soon. Ignite comes out. Gets the stun. Double multicast. Oh. There's still Ignite. I'll keep it light. No, it's, it's almost gone. Oh no, Ignite's got loads of duration left. He just needs one auto attack and he's dead. Smack him with your big mace. There it is. <laughs> Royce is only level 5, so he's kind of low, but the rest of their team are high level. They're trying to do something like it. He's got 1,700 HP and his ult. Look how little damage he took there. He's got Necro Book 2 coming and Necro Book 3 on the way. He ults. They're trying to kill Ollie. Ollie with the good stun. They have a lot of CC on the dire. Like him. Get stunned. A nice shackle on both. And Ogre's actually going to fall to the tower. Can Jack chase Ollie? He's trying, but his Alpha Wolf doesn't have phase, so he just keeps getting stunned. Brex is popping his ult. Is it enough damage? Maybe not enough. Out comes the jewel in the meantime. Yeah, that's a kill. That's important. And meantime, Bay actually picks off Jakiro, so another pick off there. They only lose Ollie, but get three pick offs on basically the richest people in the game. There's a huge, huge remote mind stack here, and there's no vision for them. I want to see who's going to. Someone's going to die to that. Come on. Uh, it, might be, it might be CK. <laughs> He needs to leave now. It's bait. You don't need to place more than that. How many are there? Like eight. <laughs> CK got level nine from that fight. He started the fight level seven, ended at level nine. So that's really nice of him. The Radiant, yeah, they are a bit behind in farm. He's just going to TP out. He's going to play it safe. I don't think anyone's going for that mind stack anytime soon. You never know. Do you max chakra magic? Is that is that the way to play? Keep of the light. Um, I personally, yeah. Well, I, I would put more points in illuminate, and then I would max chakra magic. Um, personally, and then I'll do blinding light last. Um, so I'd max chakra magic and then the illuminate. Being attacked. Dire structures offer Makes sense. All the mana That's in the cooldown that it gives does help the team a lot. Dai actually have two level 6s, but then they have a level 12, a level 10, a level 10. So there's, there's a big split in levels at the moment. But Techies doesn't really need much, does he? He doesn't care about levels. Mine's going to go off. Oh, no, it didn't. I heard the sound, but it didn't actually go off. And now it's going to go off. Bam, Brex's going to take over half his HP. But Techies is completely by himself. They're going to get another jewel win. And that's exactly what they need, some jewel wins. But yeah. Ross is going in. Poor Huggy. He does pop the Will-O-Wisp in time. CCs him for a little bit. They get stunned again. Jack and running, he doesn't have jewel. Chaos Knight's here. He's trying to pick off Storm. It's only a one second stun, but there's Lycan in with Necro 3 already. He is just going to run wow. around killing everybody. What can you do against Necro 3? Bay, he's trying to do what he can. Tries to kill Roids. Jack's already on the double kill. Coming out for his third kill. Can he kill Oi? Look, he's got so much damage. Easy kill Oi. He's got the full I Necro 3 ready. Necro 3. Oh yeah, Necro, he had Necro 3 and now he's going for treads. Oh, he doesn't even have any boots. He hasn't got boots. That's how you play like in these days. Just rely on your ult. Pretty much. So he's got already Necro 3. As we know, Necro 3 gives an aura, giving 9% attack speed to everyone as well. You know, on top of that, creep that you may have Helmet dominated and your own walls, which hit quite hard. Also, all of his creeps have 50% bonus damage. Look at the damage on the Necronomicon Archer. 205 damage. I mean, is that fair? 205. That's one Necro creep. It's got more damage than Lycan almost. 
And what does his ult do? His ult shapeshifts his creeps. Okay, they do actually get a pick off though on Shakira. He seems to be out of position a few times as Shakira. Maybe it's because he aggressively wards him and Techie. He's one of the solo level. And he's going to go down. Oh, it's Roids. Right, that makes sense. Veteran's trying to kill himself. Gets jeweled, but he still gets the jewel damage. Oh, wow, okay. I've never seen that interaction before. So you can deny yourself, but you still win the jewel. So. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he's only on 30 damage, which doesn't really matter at this point. I mean, he's opting to go straight for Blink. So it's kind of like a pos 3, almost like a pos 4 Legion Commander at this point. Quite low on farm. Ollie is getting close to Dagon. Hopefully that gives him the, the damage to burst someone. It might do. Gonna have to see. Looks like Techies is going straight for Aghanims. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's correct, to I've, be honest. I've noticed that as well. I was trying to think what items he would usually go before. Like yours. Uh, Hugging and take a lot of damage from that miner. Actually, his bay takes the damage, but they find veteran. He puts down another miner. They just kill it in time. There's arm lot on bay. Storm Spirit zips in with the orchid. He uses a lot of mana. He gets instantly shackled. Big damage coming from Jakiro. will o -Wisp returns, but Huggy's still going to fall. Veteran trying to do whatever... Not veteran. Bay trying to do whatever damage he can, but then decides to leave. Because here comes the Lycan, he's ulted, he's got the Necro. Oh. Bay's gonna go down. Okay, gets stunned by the Carapace. Gets shackled to his own creep, which is hard not to because there's like 8 million creeps. But then it's like, oh well, well, we'll just take the tower then. So even though it was a 2 for 2, they get the tower still. And they're a team that can go Roche whenever they want. Oh my goodness me. He picks up a regen rune as well. He's going to go Roche because his Necro Creep still have 17, 15 seconds of duration left. He howls as well. How, as we know, is an armor reduction now. So it brings Roche. It doesn't last very long though. Or not long on Roche because Roche has some built-in status resistance. I don't know where it says. Yeah, 25%. But he's going to be able to solo Roche, no problem. With the Satyr tanking for him. Plenty of health. Howls again. Temporarily removing some armor. Also, a bit of base damage, too. Moving with the killer, that's nice. Provides an armor and mana regen aura. Like and Twisting, be happy with that. He's taking it quite slow, though, actually. Well, it is 18 minutes and he's trying to solo it. <laughs> so, I mean, for most teams, that'd be impossible for one hero to kill it if you've not got Ursa. Maybe Huskar? He's pretty good at taking Roche. Noodles oh. is going for Radiance Ogre. He just runs in completely by himself, nearly insta kills Huggy. But he's going to get away, gets shackled. It's only rank one shackle. I th think if you're playing Windranger and you're not playing Windranger as a core, we're getting tons of levels, I think you should max out shackle shot. Shackle, shackle shot yeah, yeah, like having a few extra seconds of wind run, it's not worth it. Your team need the shackle shot. Ollie, yeah. they're going to get Royd once again because Royd does like to go quite aggressive. Ollie, for some reason, decides to hold the stun. Does pop the Dagon. They miss the power shot, but it's going to... It's not enough. And Royce gets oh, out. No. That's actually quite tragic. Very. I mean, Lycan has the Aegis now, so I think he's just going to start pushing. Meanwhile, what is Veteran doing? He's going to go down. Dual win stops him denying himself. Another 10 damage for Drekken. Maybe he'll eventually become a powerhouse. He never got to use any of these. That's sad. Maybe they stream sniped. Okay, top lane, they're just going to push. Central taking quite a lot of damage. He's actually gone down. Top tower is under attack. Get shackled again. Oh, shackles. It just Doesn't last so very long good. though, and then he just runs away. Yeah. Jack is still here. Going to Helm with the Dominator, another creep. Which he does. This one has a 5 health regen, or I didn't realise it was so much. thought it was 3. Obviously he's been buffed a bit. I guess that's because they nerfed Chen, so they can buff the creeps a bit. Oh, Storm. Okay, Storm's a little bit out of position. The, the power shot, which does 450 damage, plus Ollie's Dagon. And Ross feeds. <laughs> and Bay, he finds Roids. Both the Moors are down. Another jewel oh, in for Drekken. This is exactly what the Radiant need, because they are yeah. so far behind. It's 13k net worth already, so any kills they can. <laughs> and now Ross is <laughs> complaining in all chat. Head's gone, as you'd say. 
Bam brace. It's a nice item. Better than trying to get a mine stack up in the mid lane. They've pinged him, so they know he's there. But do they know about his high ground stack? Okay, they can't. They actually just don't have vision. There's not enough to kill anyone significant, though. He is only level 9 techies. I hope they're pushing down lanes with sentries and getting gems and stuff soon. Ollie's just chilling. Yeah. I guess they have a Necro 3, so when they're pushing, they know that they're safe. Looks like they're going to try and go on Jack. He's got 2,500 2, HP and the Aegis, so they're just going to go for Super Noodles instead. Drekken doesn't have Blink because it's cancelled by the Radiance. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, yeah. Ben, as soon as the whole pool is here, you get uh, you get Lycan. <laughs> and you get Storm Spirit and Lycan straight away. They had, they did ban Alchemist, though. Big damage coming from Ollie, and Ollie actually has the damage to solo Ross. I guess as Ross picks up more intelligence, like from Orchid and Kaya, he takes more damage from the mana burn. And that's going to be an yet another kill from Drekken. Lycan has popped his ult, but, and he still has Aegis. The Shackle actually goes on the wrong target. So Jack's just going to chase Drekken. Does he have the means to kill him, though? Look, Drekken is fast. He's not got a single hit on him. Only one hit. He has no way of slowing him. Bay in the back of the fight gets another pick off. Super Noodles is down. This is really not good for the die. They have such an enormous lead, but they're just losing it. Fight after fight after fight. Jack not managing really to do anything in these fights. He pops his ult, but everyone just runs away. They're very fast. Ollie's only level 12 versus Jack's level 16, but he's still strong enough to kill roids. And now Ollie's opting for the Aghanims. And Ollie's going to run to like 8 million mines. Okay, that's just the first mine that's gone off. They still don't know about the remote mines. Ollie's standing on them. Oh, Doesn't actually get one shot. One, and then he pops the carapace. But why is he doing that so late? <laughs> but Max? But Rossi comes straight back to life and goes for the kill. Oh, the jewel almost comes out, but he does an amazing zip to get the last hit and leaves. Well played by Ross there. He is level 15 on the Storm. You compare that to only level 13 on Nyx. But Chaos Knight's managed to rise to the top, also level 16. Nearly has Manta style. I think he's going to be someone we're not really considering at the moment. You know, he's in the fights. He's doing what he can. Soon he's going to get really strong. And the diet team are going to be saying, why is this Chaos Knight just one-shotting everyone? Because that definitely can happen. Alchemist is just too good at the moment. He can't single-handedly win a game, but he's pretty close to it, I think. <laughs> oh, they both, they're both won! <laughs> oh, looks like Brex That's trying to do some damage. Time. I can hear like an ulting. Glimmer keeps to keep him up. Dave's taking a lot of damage. Defensive Willow is from Huggy. Dave's still trying to fight. He can arm that toggle. Out comes the taunt. They're going to delete Ogre Magi. Super Nuals is just gone. But unfortunately, Bay has gone down as well. Ross is still here, so he picks off Huggy. And Drekken, he's going to go down too. That is a full team wipe. And you know what? You don't want to have a full team wipe against a Lycan. A Lycan with his Necro Creep still alive. One of them's AFK because he's new player. Or maybe he's keeping it so it doesn't take damage from the glyph. We smart. No, he's, he's forgotten about it. He's forgotten about it. Okay, well done, Jack. It doesn't matter. He's still got enough push. I'll flame him after uh, after it's no longer an advantage. Oh, he got four star, but still electric vortex. He's going to live. Oh, I so think they were trying to shackle the like and then. But, uh... <laughs> they still take the racks anyway. So. <gasps> Add counter! Add counter, go. let's go! Let's go. <laughs> we're on count one now. First Ags is on techies. Interesting here to rush Ags on. It does give a little bit more damage to his, to his remote mines. It also allows him to cast them at a bigger range. But the main thing is the sign. But I think he's going to go down, isn't he? Okay, they pop the jewel. Out comes Big Burst. Ross is trying to do something, though. He's trying to get a solo pick off. I think this is dangerous. There are so many heroes there, and they've got the shackle shot as well. I guess it was used. He's just going to zip out. 
I mean, only losing a techies is not really a big deal. Not at this stage in the game. I think he should start mind stacking Roche, just in case. It's up in potentially a minute's time. Oh, I hope there will be. I always want a rampage. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't it be good if it was a techies instant rampage? <laughs> You need to stack a lot of mines for that to happen, though. Yeah, definitely. Selfish. And he's already up again. I think if anyone's, if, if if anyone could get it in this game, it's the Lycan, I think. Maybe a late game Lycan. Looks like they found Roids, and that's another kill. Drekken is just getting kill after yeah. kill after kill. He's on 130 jewel damage already. He's only got rank two of it, and he doesn't even have the talent, which doesn't come to level 25. And Oli, he's going to find Royd, gets the stun, and is that enough? No, not quite enough for the Dagon. Oh! But there was another fight, they actually managed to pick off Jack, and that's a Lycan kill, that is a very important kill. This is what I'm talking about, the power of Chaos Knight, he pops Manta, he has his ult up, he does so much damage. This looked like one of the most one-sided games, you know, people probably thinking, oh, teams weren't balanced, something like that, they're pushing all our towers, and then it's just been fight after fight, gone in Radiant's favour. Did you watch that death on the Lycan? No, I, I was watching um, a fight uh, up top. So, so um, Will-O-Wisp got put down and uh, it looked as if the Lycan was going to run out of it. And then CK actually pulled him back in to the Will-O-Wisp with Reality Rift and then that's how they managed to kill him. Ah, that nice. Was, that was really good. I guess found some free creeps. Take 200 gold for him. Another kill and top. Kill. It's just kill after kill. I mean, he's 148 damage. I mean, even though he has barely any items, that much bonus damage. Yeah. He's going to hurt now. This Legion is, has Fresh gone from... Power. Legion has gone from a role of just, I'll just lock someone down while you get the kill for me too. Now I can kill people by myself. That's not a position you want this Legion to transfer, you know, transform herself into. Her net worth is still not high, but, you know, 148 damage, that's a couple of items in itself, isn't it? Yeah, quickening charm on <laughs> the dire as well. I've gone storm or ogre or techie. Whoa, storm! Oh. That is a long yeah. range zip. I manages to pick up the wind ranger. <laughs> Fair play. That is. What that was some what? commitment. They Out comes the net. Know that they've got this board. Yeah. Surely they'll think where have they got the ward? Okay, it looks like they might be chasing Huggy. There's very little mana on Storm. He does have the Orchid, uses that, and Huggy's going to go down. So Storm getting some return kills. I was talking about how the Radiant looked like they were starting to win fights and do well, but it's still 17k gold net worth difference because just of how much farm they have. And this Ogre is on 15k net worth with only 179 creeps, but I guess he's, you know, making the most of that Midas. He's got <laughs> Guardian, Greaves, and Radiance, which is a very odd build for Ogre Magi. It's like he can't decide, yeah. am I a core or am I a support? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Festival. Maybe I'm both. I'm going Shiva's next. I mean, he's got 39 armor, which is a lot of armor. But I guess they have a full assault curious on Lycan as well. Out comes Lycan, just trying to do whatever damage he can. Is it enough to kill Ogre? Yes, it is. Ogre goes straight down. The duel goes in too. But everyone has taken silence from the techies. Great shackle on Lycan. Is it enough to kill him? No, he gets Glimmer Cape. He's going to run away. Bay is still in there, but he has no mana. There's a good blast off, and he does manage to get the stasis oh. mine down. Fantastic play, and now Bay is going to go down. Ollie returns. Illuminate is going to oh, come over. Duel. He was going to duel. He doesn't have a no, there's no duel. Duel's already been used. It looked, it looked as if it was. And they can't find Royce. He's gone. So that's actually, yeah. Again, it was a great fight for the Radiant, and it looked like you know Bay overcommitted. Okay, you know he's gone in. They actually managed to pick him up. But you know a great Shaka went in. Ollie got a pick off at the end. Drekken got a pick off. Yeah, the Radiant are really winning these team fights. So, uh, the, the, even though the gold is in the favour of the Dyer and they seem to be farming better, they just can't yeah. win a fight. Even with a 20k gold net worth lead, they can't win a fight. And they have a century this. They know that there's 8 million billion mines. <laughs> no, Ollie. No, no, no. Oh, he tries to juke it with a blink. <laughs> some, people some people do it with the full staff. Like, they force through it. It's quite oh, that's too risky, the full stuff. You could I definitely know, die. But, but if you pull it off. What happened to Ollie building eggs? He just went for more Dagon instead. Yeah. Win probability. It's It nearly was 100% at one point. 
Oh, they've got rid of me. And it's not changing much. It's going up and down. <laughs> Even though Radiant are winning every single fight, they just can't, like, close the gap in net worth. Okay, Dire, they're all in the enemy jungle. They have the enemy's outpost. Storm's got his got bloodstone. Ha got a halberd. That will help against the lycan. Jump straight on Huggy. That's just the free kill. <laughs> Poor Huggy. Don't you love playing a support without crowd control against a Storm Spirit? You're just, everywhere yes. you go, you're just free gold for him and free bloodstone charges and you're out. <laughs> oh, I guess that was my fault for leaving the base. <laughs> okay, Drekken blinks in with the blade mill and the uh, press the attack, but unfortunately doesn't find anyone. He's going to have to run away now. Oh my god, look how many units of bottom. Oh god. The one thing Dyer always have is that they've already taken some racks, so that's nice. Yeah. They can't just throw units at the base though, that would just feed them. Chaos Knight's catching up in net worth. He's actually has a heart now. A heart, a manta, an armlet, which he can now keep permanently on, and an orb of destruction, which scales uh, with the armor, well, adds on to the armor pen if you add to it, doing 11 armor pen. So he is scary. You know, Phantasm adds three illusions that all do full damage on top of the manta, which adds two that do 33 damage. Oh, is it Roshan fight? I hope so. Very close to be in one. Oh. Okay. Ali, don't go up there. B, don't go up there. Okay, it's okay. Just a little bit of damage. Where's is there a big mind stack? Uh no, I don't think Techies has been on this side of the map. It's mostly all the way down here. Yeah, I was not just pushing with his illusions. Oh, Jack gets a ward. Like Ross jumps in, and before he gets picked off, oh, never mind, he gets jeweled. And that's going to be Ross dead, and all they did was manage to kill Huggy, so that is not worth it at all. Out comes Chaos Knight, he's now popped Phantasm, popped it before Radati Rift, uh, after Radati Rift, which is a bit of a mistake. Out comes the blast off, huge Macrify, the entire Reddit is sitting in it. Ross is brought back, and he comes straight in, killing Brex. And that is going to be a full team wipe for the Radiant. So, that's what you've got to be careful of. They still have their tier 1 mid, so Storm just bought back and instantly came back in the fight and got another pick off. See, buying back mid fight and making the most of it, you know, that, that is what the die need because there's only one buyback. Well, one buyback was already used, but only one more buyback for the Radiant. They do have Glyph, but they have to fight into a Lycan. You know what that means. Your base is gone. Yeah. I mean, Cottle is up and he has got um, will Yeah, Cottle's up. Ross has gone but straight in. Storm's, Storm's probably just, oh, okay. Jules on a one second cooldown when he bought back. Otherwise, he may have gone for it. Okay, that's the second set of racks gone. The blinders stopped them. They're going to just go for Megas. They're not going for the win yet. They're saying, yeah, let's go Megas. We've got Bloodlust. Okay, there's another buyback. Everyone is out apart from Chaos Knight, who unfortunately didn't have buyback. Out comes the Wind Ranger Power Shot. Ollie just blinking in, trying to do what he can. Out comes the Jewel. But he gets orchid straight away. Is he going to at least fly his Heaven's Halberd to someone? Super Noodles, keeping himself alive, being glimmered, and he has Ghost Scepter as well. Everything is gone now, all the base is gone. Fortunately, that's the kill. Huggy buys back straight away. That's another tier 4 down. Great double stun. Of course, they have vision for the invisibility thanks to the uh, Necrobert. But the Jewel comes out, gets another kill. That's Storm dead for two minutes. But they're just going to go back to hitting the base. Chaos Knight up in one second, doesn't have Phantasm. Does have Manta. Super Noodles is doing a stun. Gets brought back in by Chaos Knight. Gets shackled into the four second stun. Maybe a bit overkill. There's no duel. But look, Legion Commander has 218 duel damage. So she's pretty strong, but you know what you don't want to see at 34 minutes in the game? Mega creeps. Yeah. Yeah, Ogre was top net worth for a moment. I, is he top in farm? No, I guess it's just the Midas. He had a very, very early hand of Midas. So, you know, he's making the most out of, out of using that whatever he can. Legion going for an Ags. Yeah, clever item. Well, we have to admit it, the Radiant are going to find it very hard to come back from it. I mean, it's literally 
like it's, it's on the floor, 100%. <laughs> it's so hard to leave your base because of the power of these mega creeps. And as soon as you leave your base, Storm's going to find you and you're going to die. You know, the Storm pick worked out. I was um, a bit skeptical because there was the Nyx, there was the Legion, the Chaos Knight, the Wind Ranger. They had so much crowd control for the Storm, but yet he still managed to get away with it. And he didn't even rush a BKB. He managed to get away with Bloodstone and Orchid. Okay, he has died a few times, admittedly, but he's still done work this game, getting a lot of kills. Lycan's got his BKB. So he can probably just BKB and run in and hit the base, right? Oh, it could be yeah. could be jeweled though. If enough of them BKB in, like the whole team BKB in at the same time, you can't jewel all of them, right? No. Roche is up. Well, Storm's just got his BKB now. It's got the cheese on it. Cheese is 2,500 health heal. But what cheese? It doesn't say, does it? It just it's, the use is called fondue, which doesn't really make much sense, does it? Made from the milk of a long lost. How the hell do I say that? Fur, fur, just fur bog. Bog. Yeah, fur bog. Vendor. A long lost fur bog vendor. I don't know what animal he used to make that, but okay. And why is it fun? <laughs> why is the use of it called fondue? It's a, it's because just, like it's memes. a, it's a wedge of cheese. Where's the fondue? <laughs> you get to like dip some bread into it. It'd be nice. Make a little pot. Oh my god! Remember at like the the TI finals, and they actually got like a block of cheese, and then like all the winning team took a bite out of it. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. Very weird. <laughs> a just goes on to storm spirit. That is the. That is probably the scariest here in the game because he can use all of his mana to do a billion trillion damage and then he's got it all back again. Oh yeah, Chuan, yeah, Chuan. Oh, I miss Chuan. He was, he was, he was such good value. <laughs> he was just such a smiley guy. Minotaur horn. I guess there's no neutrals found from the Radiant team, are there? Yeah, Radiant, Radiant still missing a tier 3 jungle item. Never mind tier 4. They, they can't leave their base. They are really far away. Is this how you determine the MVP? Well, answering our trivia. Yep. Best type of cheese wins. There's two people who said he didn't. Four. Here the press the attack. Wait, Lushako. And I'm like, is there a jewel coming? Storm zips through their entire team and TP's back to base. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why he did that, but... Okay. Damn right, Toby, I do. Got to entertain the masses. You don't get much gold for Mega Creeps, do you? 30 gold or last hit, whereas regular Creeps give a lot more. <laughs> what is Loki doing? What was he doing? He was just cancelling like attacks and stuff. <laughs> just buzzing out. Just That's keeping funny. himself amused. They're, yeah. they're going to be stuck in their base for a very, very, very long time. Yeah, I can't see them ever making their way out of, out of this. I mean, the win probability is going to be permanently 100%. It's even more 100% than, than it was before. If that was even possible. But my goal is to be Slax and Casey together. Not really. No. So I find Slax and Casey a bit annoying sometimes. They are a little bit annoying. Right, Jack's ulted in. He's level 25 on Lycan. That gives him more crit chance on Shapeshift. Blinding light after you're just working. He's in BKB. Don't doing a lot of damage. Light. He gets broken. Bay, he's trying to do what he can. Out comes the will o -Wisp. It's keeping their whole team down. Ross is actually dead. Roy's just going to blink out. Bay, he's quite tanky. He has a heart, I guess. Out comes the jewel. Is the jewel enough to kill Lycan? Nope, Lycan gets bonus damage. But Bay, he's got buyback. Ross BKP is up. But look how many creeps there are on the base. And the base is going down. Ross gets another kill, and that's going to be GG. GG, you filthy Lycan pickers. But it worked. Yeah, Jack S is never going to play in an in-house ever again, I think, after this. <laughs> Poor guy. He just, he got drafted Lycan. He played it, and now he's the bad guy. <laughs>
Poor guy. Valve's fault for putting it in the pool. Well, Lycan is a weird hero because he goes from really overpowered first pick every game, 100% win rate, to being useless. And then he slowly gets buffed and buffed and buffed. And then bam, he's back on top and he's 100% win rate and he's just yeah, winning everything. I just watched a pro right. game where he was just dominating, like completely dominating it. And it's, ah, what a hero.